काबुल Day before yesterday yeah. or yesterday there was, was an incident. incident. Yes. Yeah. How many people are killed in that? Sir, with due permission, can I take case? Yeah. Around thirty people, sir. Yeah. And uh, ISIS has claimed responsibility for that. Yes, sir. In uh, end of February, there was a similar attack in London in which uh, a person stabbed to uh, several uh, others before he was shot down with the police. Right. So the Islamic State uh, continues to be because they they don't need uh, land. their basic method of recruitment is through online and on online they are very very good at it that is why they have been able to radicalize so many people yes. now did you read recently that uh, we had these riots in delhi yes and the islamic state has posted a, a clip on their website saying that muslims are being massacred in india and trying to recruit cadres from india also So, is the Islamic State a threat to India? Sir, globally it is threat, and in same line it is also threat to India. And in fact, we had some re- report of recruits from Kerala, and Islamic State is using communal sentiments and incidents, unfortunate in- incidents like this, to fan uh, uh, anti anti minority feeling. And then that they are exploiting that feeling to recruit for them, sir. So certainly, sir, we have to be at guard. Uh, how many people do you think they have uh, recruited in India? Any idea? Sir, I'm not very sure, but I think around twenty people. Uh, the, the Home Ministry statement was last year about hundred plus people who have been uh, identified, arrested, pending trial. Some of them have been convicted also. so it continues to be a very very major threat for 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 thanks for india also right right okay now tell me have you heard of this international solar alliance yes. what is this organization sir international solar alliance was established in 2015 with the uh, india being the founding country a major country along with france and this is a organization which have members from countries Which lies between the tropics, that is Cancer as well as Capricorn, right. and this uh, organization is headquartered in Gurugram and trying to generate the solar energy, yeah, renewable energy. Very good. Now the point is, has India set any target for itself regarding solar energy? Yes, sir. Earlier, sir, we had 175 gigawatt of renewable energy, out of which 100 gigawatt was to be solar energy. Yeah. And recently, sir, that has been increased uh, by Prime Minister up to four fifty gigawatt. So by when, sir? Uh, uh, former was by two thousand twenty-two. 
but I'm okay. not sure. I'll have to look into that. Okay. okay, I'll ask you one more question. You heard of us, this scheme called Uran? Yes, sir. What is the scheme? Sir, Quran scheme stands for Ure Desh Ka Aam Nagrik. And this is a scheme by Ministry of Civil Aviation. Yeah. So, sir, under this scheme, all those underserved and unserved cities, Tier 2, Tier 3 cities, are to be connected by uh, air. Right. So, it is regional connectivity scheme, sir. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You've written, you won an award for an essay writing competition. Hmm? Yes. What was the topic of the essay? Ma'am, topic was on consumer issues. So it was organized by Consumer Forum of my college, Jagriti. So if I have a consumer problem, consumer yes. issue, can I go to any repressal uh, place? I mean, is there any repressal mechanism for my issue? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Last year, ma'am, we... Uh, uh, made law, Consumer Protection Act, which, which replaced the 1986 Copra Act. And under this, ma'am, Consumer Protection Authority has been established at the district level, state level and center level. So depending on, ma'am, the amount that is involved, you can approach at so all So can this. I go personally or do I need a lawyer to represent me in this Consumer Protection Act? Ma'am, I think rules has been simplified where uh, people can go directly and yes. seek grievances. Okay. So. Now you are from Bihar. So very often we hear the saying, Kosi, river Kosi is a boon and it's also the bane of Bihar. What, what does this mean? Ma'am, this means that Kosi, uh, when it's a, it flows in limited quantity of water, then it is a very good source for irrigation mm -hmm. in those regions. But when there is overflow, ma'am, it destroyed a lot of crops. For example, ma'am, last year we had flood because yes. of Kosi in Bihar. But recently... So why have we not been able to tame this river? Because it overflows its embankments. Yes. So why why can't we do something about it? Because every year it floods. Right, ma'am. Mm. So ma'am, up to large extent, uh, somewhere this problem continued. But recently there mm. was inter uh, link, river linking project, mm. Kosi Mezi project that was signed, signed, signed. Mm. And under this ma'am, overflow of water from the Kosi River mm. will goes to the Mechi River, which is tributary of Mahananda River. Hmm. So ma'am, I think that last year... So, so has any work started in this interlinking of a reverse project? Yes ma'am, a project has been started, it has been sanctioned and work has been going on. So, so who is going to oversee this project, the interlinking of rivers? A new board is going to be constituted? Authority for interlinking of rivers? Ma'am, uh, hmm. With due permission, can I make case? Yes, make a case. I think, ma'am, Central Water Commission is overlooking as of no, now. The Jal uh, uh, Water Commission is overlooking, but they've also hmm. decided on a central board yes, for management of the inter uh, linking of rivers. Right. Hmm. So one board would be constituted. Yes. Yeah, right. So they're considering. They may have constituted it by now. So also regarding the smart city project, yes. has any work been done in Bihar under this scheme? First, tell me what is the Smart City Project? Yes. Ma'am, a Smart City Project is a project which intends to make city smart. And by this what I mean... What do you mean by smart? Yes. Ma'am, <clears throat> by this I mean that there will be extensive use of information and communication technology. There will be multi-mode transport, public yes, transportation. Yes, yes. There will be security for women, be it CCTV mm -hmm. or panic button mm -hmm. and all, all those. And then drainage system would be turned so properly. will be very livable. Right. So which cities and in uh, Bihar are under the smart city project? Ma'am, uh, Patna city is mm -hmm. one capital. Apart from that, ma'am, Bhagalpur is another. Yes. And then both Three, two both. cities. Huh? Yes. So has any work started under this project? Are you aware? Some works are going on, but yeah. I'll have to look into okay. particulars. So now my question is, why do we need a smart city? What was the concept behind making smart cities? Ma'am, urbanization is one of the yes. major factors. Yes, yes, you've got it. Absolutely. All right, one more question. Regarding COVID-19. Yes. Are you aware of this? Yes. So what, what is, uh, or how is it going to threaten world economy? Not just Indian economy, give me one or two or three points which you think will affect world economy. 
Yes. Ma'am, China is major uh, uh, linkage in the global supply mm -hmm. chain. So when production hits in China, get heated, then automatically yes. they have a pretty so one is that. One is that. Yeah. Second, ma'am, uh, we are already in the phase of deglobalization. Somewhere mm -hmm. we are seeing protectionism is rising. This will aggravate the situation. Covid will aggravate the situation where countries are refraining from importing from China. Okay, that so, all right. Any yes. Else? What about travel? Tourism? Right, right, ma'am. Air, uh, air tourism is another shipping Major sector. Is, yes. Yes, right, ma'am. So that, was, uh, that would also be hit, ma'am. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why did we need uh, a bulky constitution? Yes. Said the diversity of India, diversity was such great that we needed to make sure that all sections concerned are taken care. Apart from that said, we also needed to make sure that all the things are to large extent clarified so that on later on for a new independent country it does not become a uh, concern where we'll have to clarify on a stand. So we try to make sure that provisions are extensive. Apart from that sir, it is also said that lawyers were the major... Uh, one of the basic points is that Unlike any other federal constitution, we don't have a constitution for states. Right. Yes. Right. Now, can you tell us uh, what are the checks and balances between the executive, legislature, and parliament and the uh, judiciary? Yes, sir. Sir, for that doctrine of judicial review is one of the most important, which I feel, which goes under Article 13, 131, 132, under which. Article? 13. Yes, sir. And so, sir, when this legislature or executive try to cross its domain, then judiciary steps in. Second is a doctrine of basic structure, which was uh, which came up by judicial innovation in Kesvan and Bharti case. So, under which sir, there are some basic structures, for example, federalism, secularism, division of power, and if said uh, executive or judicial by its legislative. Okay. Uh, as far as discretionary powers are concerned, between the governor and the president, who has more discretionary powers and what are the discretionary extra powers given to the judicial authority? Sir, so, governor has more uh, discretionary power than so the president. For example, sir, if I give, if I talk about one example, sir, when it comes to giving giving assent to the bill, then governor can reserve bill for the president under article said 200 if i'm not wrong sir article 200 it can reserve bill for the consideration of the president sir that is one sir apart from that sir president is born to give uh, assent to the constitutional amendment act as per 24th constitutional amendment act but there is no such provision for governor and since sir, the constitutional amendment is domain of parliament so Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Well, my case was case in the year 1994 and under this said federalism was said to be one of the basic structure of the constitution and governor, the role of the governor appointment were sought to be strengthened. So when gov gov government changes, it does not replace governor arbitrarily. So that and center state relation was also discussed in SR for my case. Sir. I mean, uh, what is composite flow test? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not as a Jagdam Bika Pal case. You heard about this? I'm sorry. Okay. Sir. Now, uh, can you tell us uh, what is this permanent commission judgment by the Supreme Court? Yes, it is. Sir, recently Supreme Court allowed women officers who were recruited to short service commission to have permanent commission and permanent appointment in the Indian Indian Armed Forces. So earlier we had intense services and through short service commission they were upgraded to the permanent commission. But now by large extent it is sought to be implemented on large extent. So it is a social justice step by Supreme Court where we are seeking empowerment of women. Last, uh, what about, uh, do we have a provision in the constitution enabling provision for compulsory service in military. Yes, sir, we do have. I don't sir, remember exact article, but I'm, I have read that it is in English. Thank you.
Thank you. Sir. You are um, part of the NCC. Yes. Sir. Right. It's a very good thing. But tell me, what does the NCC do after you have finished your tenure with the NCC? In later life, what does the NCC do after the children have grown up? Sir, as the motto of NCC goes, unity and discipline. So since the young is only cadets are imbibed with those qualities in them, there is also emphasis on the devotion towards the public service. So sir, when they grow up, that quality of discipline, unity, social harmony continues and he see person wherever he goes, he try to make sure that he live a disciplined life, he contribute to the society. So that I think sir is the last one. And second sir, when one pass out from NCC, there will also recruitment to the armed forces to see certificate. So that is another good thing about NCC. But in a, as well as in extreme cases, we can employ NCC cadets as second line of defense, third line of defense. So these all have the, some of the benefits of NCC. Yes, the first one, first reason was the best. Okay. All right. Now, you are living in India. You have studied in Delhi. In uh, 2018, you passed out. And therefore, staying in India in Indian conditions and studying in Delhi in 2018, the demonetization would really have impacted you. But its impact on the Indian economy was it good or bad? Sir, to great extent, personally, I feel that intentions were very right. So it was to curb out the black money or fake Indian currency notes. But then there were some issues with regards to implementation. So there were some reports highlighted where there was cash crunch and suddenly people had to shift to the digital mode of uh, uh, put, transmission of economy. So people were digitally illiterate. But with time, sir, I believe that things have improved to a great extent. Let's look at the first reason which you gave a little bit more deeply. Yes. What did you say it was true? Intentions were very good. What was the stated intentions? Intentions, you said. No? Yes. So what were the stated intentions? One you mentioned, Blackman. Yes. Any other intention? Root or corruption. Mm -hmm. Corruption was another, sir. Fake, <coughs> later on, fake Indian currency not. And later on, sir, yeah, there was. Those who got added, but the original one. Then, so, promotion of digital payment and digital mode of All these got added later on. But yes. The stated objective was only against black money, right? Now, since you have studied in PGDV, that's a very good college. They would have told you whether this sort of a measure, demonetization, can it actually work against black money? Does it work or it cannot work? What's your knowledge of that? Sir, it works. It works against black money because, sir, uh, when I say that, what happens sir, when some uh, this kind of exercise is done, people become accountable to the process. They have to deposit money back and they then they will come into the banking channel system. The accountability and transparency will be promoted. So sir, yes, it works. It works against black money. But then sir, there are some uh, issues where they are foreign in Swiss bank account. We say that money are deposited so they will have to make so but as far as internal economy are, are concerned sir, i think formalization comes that's an acceptable answer because yes in the long term provided it is it is linked with a sort of an amnesty scheme that if you deposit within so many days then it is okay you can exchange your money yes that is the impact which you give yes but in the short term immediate objective people don't put their assets in money they put it in houses mm -hmm. real estate gold okay. jewelry Yes. You have not demonetized them. <laughs> this is true, sir. But then uh, money is also one of the major parts. Sir. So we'll have to work on all those. Right. Last question. Let's look at politics of India. Yes. You have heard of this nota, none of the above in election. Yes, sir. What is it really? Sir, none of the ever provision was brought by Supreme Court in its one of its judicial judgment and under which it was said that voters would have option to place nota button under which they will reject, then they have the choice to not vote in favor of any candidate and they can show their opinion that they are not happy with the candidates. But then there is provision that sir, even if nota scores the highest vote, then also the candidate who scores below that would be the winner. So this will, election would not be nullified. So is the nota a joke of the voter? 
I don't want any of them. But the fellow gets even one vote. I hold 18 nota. But someone else gets one vote. How do you not kill them? He said, you are elected government. Isn't it a joke or a Sir, with due respect, I think that it is not, it is important, sir, because by, even that, by, that's what I said. Yes, yes, sir, even by say, exercising nota, sir, we are giving a message to the selectors that, see, we are not happy with your selection. So it will have ripple effect, it will have effect on the selection of the members that we have rejected your candidates. So next time, please come up with candidates whom will favor. So that is the benefits. Then I have to ask you the last question. If you feel ripple effect is there, it's been there since 2015, it's been employed in state assembly elections also, not in region. In recently in Delhi also, the chief electoral officer taken out a modification on Nota. If it had such a ripple effect, the people with criminal background or with cases filed against them in our parliament and legislation would have been going down. It's not, it's been going up. So what is your ripple effect theory? Think it out. Okay, we are short of time. Just think it out later on. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I'll ask just one or two because shortage of time. When did the Cold War end? You've done international relations? Yes. When did the Cold War end? Since 1990 and with the dissolution of the USSR. Now, you think the Cold War is reviving? Think very carefully. Yes, sir. Cold War 2.4. Give, give the facts to back up your mistake. Yes, sir. One or two important things which have happened in developments. Yes. So, recently, uh, USA withdraw from the intermediate range nuclear force treaty, 1987. And they are scaling has it, up. Has it led to escalation? I don't find any escalation. Sir, it is trying to increase its missile and mm. USA and Russia. So, okay. and that is second. Right. Second, right. sir, we can So, they are rebuilding their military, that is what you say. Yes, the military right. race. What else? Second, sir, US China conflict, be it in trade or currency war. So, that is also going on. Currency war is not Cold War. Trade war, sir. And trade war is not Cold War. Cold war is where they are military. trying for influence in various parts of the country and threatening each other with destruction. South China Sea is one sir, where uh, there is, seems to be a tussle between the U.S. and All right, it's a minor, it's minor theater, but how about, I will say, all right. Yes, sir. What else? In Middle East, sir, also, we are seeing that there is size of tension between the U.S. and Why Iran. Yeah. U.S. is practically withdrawn. Yeah. U.S.-Iran US conflict, sir. U.S.-Iran conflict. That also doesn't seem to be Hotting up, it's not escalating. Arctic is another reason. Yes. Sir, now you are coming to yes. the point where there is Arctic war. is very very aggressive. Race for yes. What else? Resources. What else? Sir, theater has now shifted to the Indo-Pacific. Earlier it was Atlantic, now to Indo-Pacific. Yes. China's so, aggressive. China aggressiveness and these things. These are the areas where yes. Things are getting bad. Today, there is a very major threat of mass migration, mass uh, exodus from a certain region of the world. Where is that region where it is happening? So, Middle East is large. Where Middle East? Middle East is a huge yes. region. Sir, Specifically, if we talk about last seven days, sir, then Idlib in Syria, where conflict between Turkey and Syria is going on, mass migra migration is happening over there, sir. But because of the Turkey in Syria or something else? Sir, I think bombing was done to get back Idlib that is still under the ISIS control. So, Not ISIS. <clears throat> there are rebels against the Assad regime, local right. regime. Bashar al-Assad, I think. Not ISIS. And Good. with Bashar's help, Syria is bombing that places. People have become destitute. They are running away. It is said that this will be like Rohingyas, a migration of the size of Rohingyas, five or seven million people. That is the threat now. 
You have done English literature. Yes. Any important book you have read in English literature? Sir, can I quote my favorite? Yes. Sir, Pride and Pizzity is the Jane Austen one. What is the moral of that story? What is she trying to say? Yes. Sir, she is trying to give message that one should not have prejudice without knowing the person. Uh, without knowing the person. Who is the I main uh, male character in that? Sir, Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. And the female? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Now, you read about uh, other European literature also? Yes, sir. Have you read Don Quixote? I've heard his name, his, but his book. They say was Don Quixote, but it is actually Don Quixote. Have sir, you read that? Sir, his book was not in my syllabus. No. Unfortunately, I did <laughs> Now, Niti Ayo has brought out SDG Index 2 yes. in December 2019. Yes. Which is number one state and which is the, the bottom? Yes. So unfortunately, my state Bihar is at the bottom with, with a score of 50 out of 100. And first is Sandigarh. Sandigarh yes. in UP is Kerala. Thank you. Kerala, Kerala. Kerala. Kerala still remains the topper. Yes. Kerala was followed by Himachal. Yes. <coughs> What is the state of poverty in Bihar? Yes. Sir, as per United Nations Development Program Multidimensional Poverty Index, it is 52.2%, and as per World Bank, dollar 1.9 per day, it is 34%. And if we look at the whole state of India, sir, Bihar is number one in poverty, poverty. with highest poverty. At least 50% people yes, are poor. Yes, 50, uh, 50%. Extremely, extreme poverty. Now one more question. There's something called global commons. Can you identify these commons? Sir, I'll try. Sir, climate conservation is something that we can say as... Think again. Something which belongs to all of us. No single nation can claim... Space. Outer space. Outer space. Outer space. Yes. Outer, Outer space. space. Outer space. Man. Very good. Next. Antarctica. Excellent. Very good. Arctic we are trying to, but no, no. now Arctic it is under Arctic is divided. Arctic. No, no. Yes. Don't, don't talk about it. Sea line of communication, sir. High seas. Mm -hmm. Internet. High seas. High seas. Uh, yeah, right, sir. UNCLOS and, and cyberspace. Cyberspace. Thank you. Okay. Well, we close the interview. Thank you. Sir. You have performed very well. I am giving you feedback. This is your second interview. Yes. Sir. Yes, you are preparing very nicely. Keep up your good work. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Yes. Sir. Uh -huh. We don't have to say much except that you are doing very well. Go on reading. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.